My name is Food Karma Rhapsody, and welcome back to Slate the Spire. Ooh, I should not have eaten so much at lunch. Ow, good lord, my tum. All right, let's have a look at this. In fifth position is Burst. Uh, no one else here that I directly recognize. Oh, it's nice to see ZXD not on the top. Uh, however, the score above them is so high above them as to be suspicious. Uh, it is a silent, cursed run. Whenever you defeat a boss and become cursed, your starting relic is replaced with the cursed key, Dark Time Periant, and Dufu Doll. Vintage, normal enemies drop relics instead of cards. And binary, card rewards only contain two cards. So what do I foresee is the problem here? Well, the problem here is that normal enemies dropping relics instead of cards means that we are going to be short on cards. Yeah, okay, that's obvious. Tell us more. Okay. Those cards that we won't have won't help us dilute the curses that are going to be put into our deck that we're going to be adding from Cursed Run, right? So, and binary means that we're going to find a lot of choices where there's only two and we just have to take one. Okay, so. Card rewards contain only two cards. Uh, oh gosh. An ant found its way into my... Aww. I wanted to drink that water. Now I'm going to get some extra protein when I drink that water. Uh, all right, hang on. Binary, vintage, cursed run. Yeah, fine, we'll go. I'll also give a shout out to Dan Wolf, who was very, very high on the non-beta leaderboard. Uh, however, I play on the beta leaderboard. So, sorry about it, Dan. All right, hang on. Let's lock that there see exactly what parts we have so elite wise we can go for three with a couple of early upgrades probably do want to hit this shop literally just so that i can find an aggressive card gotta remember that i have four energy per turn here so gotta keep that in mind Lest I underplay my hand because, oh, I don't have enough energy to do this. Ninja Scrolls, start these combo with three shifts in your hand. Incredible for this. Incredible. Um, Infinite Blades is also another really good way to generate some damage here. In fact, I think I'll take that and all out attack because I can afford both. Lovely. Dagger Spray is obviously better as two applications of our damage from strength. That is to say, Dagger Spray is better AoE, but why do I have to choose, right? Let's take both. Alright. By Cultist and hello to Paper Crane. Enemies with weak deal 40% less damage rather than 50. Uh, rather than 25. Uh, will upgrade neutralize as a direct response to that. Good. Ancient T set. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two extra energy, which is obviously pretty damn good for us right now, considering we've got a rest site and then an elite fight. Rest site, elite fight, street rat, take that. Just a little snack, guys. Uh, Gremlin Knob. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to protect ourselves entirely from the incoming damage from Gremlin Knob. So we did end up taking a hit there, which means we're not going to perfect the boss. Oh, well. Dreamcatch, one of your rescue matter cards to your deck, as well as accuracy. Accuracy is not as good as Slice here. So accuracy, yeah, we do want to add more shivs to the deck. Yeah, we start with three in our open hand. Yeah, we have a shiv for every single hand. But the time that it takes me to play accuracy, because I am going to be playing all out aggressive because I have Darkstone Periaps, uh, sorry, because I have the Cursed Key and Duvu Doll, uh, means that the delayed effect, and also, you know, I might not get shivs past this point, right? But the delayed effect of accuracy is not as impactful as just having a cheap card that I can play. I should still probably upgrade a couple of my defense cards just so that I can try and perfect a boss. Bag of preparation, that's really unfortunate. Oh well. We'll still take it. Oh, no, it's not really unfortunate because we don't have... Ring the snake. 
If we had Ring of the Snake, it'd be unfortunate. We'd overfill our hand. Uh, hand? Hand? Now I know that I, like, change my syllables in a pretentious fashion off the time, but hand? I'm not even behind that one. I apologize. Damn, I was really hoping I was having all that attack in this hand. Or at least another defense. Either or. Yeah, we're one damage short on being able to kill that sentry. Fine. I'm not going to use a power potion digging for, you know, in Venom slash Thousand Cuts or something like that here. Uh, that's for boss sites. That's a boss fight tech right there. Oh well, take another wee hit and take him out. Anchor, Stardust combo of 10 block. Great. Rid of holes. Obviously. Obviously. It hits five times. And we're trying to build strength. Skewer is also a really good pickup here for that similar reason. And we'll take it. We're getting the right cards for this build. I'll say that much. The game is very, very much supportive of us. My Fungi Beast and Hello 2 Pendib. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. Neat. Mm, okay, I really don't want to wake up the enemy this turn. I play that just to try and increment my Pendib. I can weaken the enemy next turn as well. If I need to. My next hand isn't a good wake up hand. But the problem is my next hand only has a single defense. I have to. I'll only use one attack there, but that allows me to increment the Pendib twice. So I lose one damage, but I increment the Pendib one more time. Oh well. Goodbye, Log of Woolen, and hello to the Regal Pillow. Whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP. I'll take a dash. Again, right? It's not the best card for this deck right now, but also I do need a little bit of defense. Okay, highest damage attack in my hand is just a normal strike. So I order my attacks so that a strike benefits from that. He's already weakened this turn. Well, that's our full defense. There's no way to defend off of any power that uh, Silent can get here. Is that correct? Having drawn absolutely no defense in my hand. Again, it's not like we've been avoiding defense, but we also haven't really gotten any. Uh... So, Wraith Form doesn't do it, I still take one damage. The After Image doesn't do it, I can play all of these cards, every single one of them, if the All-Ed attack drops the injury, and I'll still only protect myself for four. Obviously, Footwork doesn't. Are any of the rest defensive? Or are they all offensive? They're all offensive. Ah, well. That's a shame. But if there's nothing I can do about it, I can't really care about it. I try to only focus on and uh, stress and worry about the things that I have control over. That is one virtue that I have that helps me counteract anxiety and kind of perfectionism. If you've got no control over it, uh, fine. Nothing you could have done, my dude. Mm -hmm. 
right to you. Hello to Liquid Bronze, Game 3 Thorns. It's also worth noting, uh, we're getting pretty good curses so far. Pretty happy about that. Wraith Form is really good defense in this deck. Let's just go really aggressive. Obviously. Ooh, also not awful curses. Fossilized Helix, prevent the first time you lose HP each combat, as well as the Smiling Mask, the Merchant's Card removal service now always costs 50 gold, and the letter on, but no, whenever you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. Savvy? Savvy. I don't know what it is about a food combo that sent me into a rap god here, but oh, sure, sure, that's fine. I'm down with it. It's working out. I did not need to play that Wraith form whatsoever. Thankfully, it's not going to matter, but still. Wow. More back when you climb a glow. Ah, you. Uh, when you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No glow works when you spend any gold in a shop. Well, guess what? Literally, the next space is a shop, and I'm almost certainly going to. Like. But membership card is here. There's obviously really good things in the store, like Endless Agony, Dagger Spray. Mainly those two. Uh, but membership card. Get membership card when you're very likely to get a fair amount of gold as well as the Coria because we're in vintage mode, right? So we're going to get a lot of relics. This just means that later on in the run, I will possibly have the ability to buy out an entire shop uh, and do that multiple times. Uh, Rhythm Falls game? Cloak and Dagger is my secondary here. Actually, you know what? I think I need more support in AoE. I'm taking Dagger Spray. Yep. That's a collector's bonus for us, but it's also removed the possibility of me getting, uh... A well-fed or stuffed bonus for having a large amount of max HP. Okay, you go down onto the ground. Murder. Beautiful. Goodbye to you and hello to Happy Flower. Every three turns, gain an energy. Love it. Like it, love it, and want more of it. Exactly. Pandip. Ooh, you are attacking this turn. I was thinking... I was wondering whether or not the boss would even try and attack this turn. Because if they didn't, I was guaranteed the win there uh, without taking any damage. Thankfully, we drew a really aggressive hand. Whenever you add an attack to your deck, upgrade it, as well as Piercing Whale is really good defense. I have to take it in that position. Uh, skill Potion can be really good, like, sudden generation of defense. Wraithform needs an upgrade. An extra turn, as you can see, is pretty impactful for us. I'll leave the Piercing Whale in the deck. We can get back to it later. Obviously has no impact right now. Do I want to skewer for... Yeah, I should. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it in the other order because Skewer is an x card, so I wouldn't have had energy left over had I tried to do it in the other order. Thankfully, we are actually going to perfect this one. Nice. Finally, Bottle Tornado, upon pick up, choose a power card, start each combat that in your opening hands, do that to the Wraith form, that's another Dagger Spray, and we'll skip the Liquid Bronze. We don't want to be in a position where we're allowing the enemies to hit us multiple times. Lantern, start each combat with additional energy, that's going to help us play the Wraith form a lot of the time. Unfortunately, we picked up a Pain there, which is going to be a problem with our buffers. Ooh, yeah, we do that. We are a wraith and a ghost. 
and it is going to be spectacular. Incredible. Blue Candle, whenever unplayable curse card can have you played. Whenever you play a curse card, lose one HP and exhaust the card. Neat. So we can actually get rid of the pains now. Speaking of, goodbye pain. Another Wraith form. We're not going to get enough turns into the fight to actually use either of those apparitions. We're not getting three more turns into this combat. Oh, look. Proof. Frozen Egg. Whenever you add a power card to your deck, upgrade it. We'll take the dash there. We don't have enough defensive cards. Uh, that is, cards that have decks associated with them. Uh, so, cards that have block, naturally, uh, in order to take footworks there. However, dash is a really good uh, card for just suddenly bursting a bit of defense out there. <laughs> Juicy Bracelet. Normal any encounters are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. That's really good. Enemies vulnerable on turn one is also incredible. We have to take the vulnerability. It's, it's too big to turn down. Endless Agony as well. Just a sudden burst of damage for us. Neat. Ah, it's the Singing Ball. When any cards to your deck, you may raise your max HP by two instead. We're never going to do that. Haha, <laughs> fun. Uh... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm going to put Infinite Blade to my opening hand because it's a really good long boss fights. Neat. Highest damage attack in hand is the bite. So I can order my turns associatingly. Uh, don't take brittle tolls. Dang it. It's fine, I've still got skewer in the deck. And I actually have the ability to turn around and kill you for the brittle tolls. Okay. We can just burn out all of these now. Don't have to burn that one out. It's ethereal, so it burns itself here. Am I capable of generating one defense this turn? So I suspect not. That's not going to help me. That'll do it. So this will help me perfect the boss. Oh, but I didn't perfect the first floor boss. So why do I... Uh, it's still 50 to perfect this boss. After image would be really important for this deck. Because I need to be able to generate block even when my dex is negative a billion. I know I just passed up in Venom. I still had to. Uh, extra energy from Runic Dome because we don't actually care what our enemies are doing. Sure. It's a good run. I'm not going to get a good score based on the fact that I didn't get the perfect on the first boss. But eh, it happens. Maximum of two elites, no matter what path I take. So the paths come down to which one has more question marks. All right, all of them start here, though. Elites give you a... So I'm not taking elites just due to the fact that... One sec. Let me sort out the order of play here. Yeah. 
I'm not taking elites exclusively due to the fact that I want relics from them. Otherwise, I could just fight normal enemies. But fighting elites is a higher score bonus for us. Kunai, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dex. That's going to be handy. Uh, Yeah, add a bunch of cards to my deck, please. Ooh, Swift Strike. Nice. All right, I'll take him. We have a very late shop this floor. Hopefully we have Coria by that point in time. I like that this provides this extra draw on the first turn. That's always neat. Just only had one more skill that turn, we would have had to kill on each of them. Damn it. Alright, I have to use my pen nib in order to get them down. Strawberry, raise my HP by 7. Eh. It's fine, I guess. Uh, I could have played the after image first, though. That's my bad. If the enemy actually gives me a Parasite, I'm super into it. So there's nothing that I want to stop attacking for here. But I also can't see the enemy's intent. So it's not like I can do anything about it. Curse me, daddy. Damn it. Give me the curse. On. Fine. Blood Ball. Every start of each combat, heal for 2 HP. Wow. It has been a while since I've had a voice break during an episode. Good lord. I, of course, make absolutely no apologies for it. <laughs> it happens. I I was lucky in that by the time I got into high school, my voice had mostly broken. <laughs> uh, Dead Branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card into your hand. Neat. All right. <clears> hmm. <throat> Exhaust the card, add a random card into your hand. Well, we do that constantly, so we're going to overdraw our opening hands a lot. Mm hmm. Well, there's the dagger spray. That's obviously pretty much exactly what we're looking for here. Damn it! There's Riddle with Holes going by. Whenever we burn an Apparition, though, we will have extra cards in the next turn to be fighting the Vrept amount with. Snacko Skull, whenever you apply poison, apply one digital poison, as well as Viscerate. Like, that's a lot of damage, but not now. Do need to add 10 more cards to my deck, but that 2 max HP there might be helpful as well. We'll see. Oh, look, accuracy. Nate. What a good combat we just did. Okay. Burn the plane. The pain, sorry. By Spiker, hello to all these smooth stones. Started to come up with one strength. Sorry, one dex. <laughs> I'm so focused on strength that I cannot be dissuaded from it. One, two, three, and then a big old riddle with holes right there. 
Second turn, this enemy is either attacking for 5 or 30. I mean, it doesn't matter what they're attacking for here, right? Not even slightly. Just because we've got that in tan. Jibility. And fine, we've got the kill there. Potion belts upon pick up gain two potion slots. War paint upgrades two of our cards there. Drop a defend. Least impactful. Alright. Unfortunately, it didn't work out how I'd hoped. Uh, we need more draw in this deck as well. Uh, there's a couple other things. We already have enough relics. Hmm. I'll take Cauldron. Take that, that, that. Just going to take the defensive ones. Those ones don't... Nah, I don't need them. <sighs> I could drop the Speed Potion for another Liquid Bronze. It's going to be pretty good for damage output in the final fights. Oh, just a couple extra cards here. I'm not going to end up with enough cards by the end of the run. Let's uh, remove something bad then. Oh well. Oh well. Worst things have happened. Are you okay? Okay. Right. Sorry, I heard... Uh, <laughs> I heard a crash outside and I had to make sure Pink is okay. It's all fine though. <laughs> he dropped a Keyblade. <laughs> That's what kind of household we run. Oh, oh God. Hello. Hey, Tomek. Um, I'm recording, so can we, like, do this later? Oh, I was just clarifying. That's cool. Yeah, no, it's the Keyblade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fair enough. Yeah. I immediately explained that afterwards. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's all good. All good. We'll it sounded like plates getting dropped. You're yeah. leaving. Where are you going? The house. Yeah. I'll talk to you both in just a sec. Oh. Okay, I, I, <laughs> one second. Sorry. <laughs> Friend of mine is leaving for Europe for a while, so it was entirely essential that I went outside of the room so that I could just say, hey, goodbye. I'm gonna miss you. This has been your scheduled wholesome break. Now it's time to continue trying to destroy the spire. Goodbye, Nemesis. And hello to Sundial. Every three times you shuffle your draw pile, gain two energy, as well as... Um, let's take a prepared, actually. Mull pass some things we don't want. Regen's not going to be necessary in the final combat. We'll take the Strength Potion. We'll upgrade the, repair, uh, the Prepared so that we can just get straight past cards that are complete garbage for us. After Image, Wraith Form, go face. Alright. Thankfully, uh, the Concentrate is actually pretty good here. Let's get those out of the hand then. Just because anything that exhausts is giving me another card, so my card value is actually really high. And Writhing Mass down in one turn. Neat. Or a Calcum if you end your turn without any block, gain six block. 
I'm gonna try and end this final fight real quickly so that I can run out and say a proper non-rushed goodbye. I do apologize for leaving that in the episode though. Uh, the nightmare on Wraith Form means that we just definitely live through the entire fight, but also everything kind of means that right now. Big dash. All right, get us a zero mana card. Ooh, no zero mana card. That's a problem. Well, next turn we get to play exactly one card. I mean, we couldn't have a better turn to only play one card. Hey. I'm burning that in my turn intentionally. Four, five. That's fine. Enemy is going to purge and go back up to half HP and only get to play two cards this turn, but again, it's fine. Because it seems like it's all going to work out in the end, don't it? Uh, let's got that because we don't need it yet. We should probably just uh, Swiss Strike of this here. Still have Intangibility up. Two turns from a double damage. We'll discard that it's entirely unnecessary at this point in time. Alright, last turn of intangibility, but I do have the block potion afterwards. Hopefully this card just kills. That'll do. Goodbye, Time Eater. Alright, let's see how our score went. 1237. Not a particularly high score, but still pretty pleased with the run. Would could have got an extra hundred if I had have managed to perfect there. Uh yeah, we're not even on the first page. Ooh, where are we? All the way down at 68. Dang, we couldn't have had just a slightly lower score for the moment. My name is Rapsony. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. I'm going to run away. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.